This is the Transformers Earthspark Warrior Class Alita One. Here's the new packaging for these Earthspark Warrior Class figures. They're easy to steal and snatch one up. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping, I picked up this figure because I'm hoping, you know, that this will be much better than that uh, botched, you, a wasted opportunity uh, Skywarp figure. I really liked her on the show. I picked her up from my local Toys R Us store for about 1,400 pesos, which roughly translates to about 25 bucks, 25.50. Anyway, let's get her out of packaging. And here is Earthspark Warrior Class Alita One out of packaging. And wow, come on, look at this figure. This is the Alita one we've been waiting for. I mean, the colors look great. Uh, plastic quality, I mean, it's good enough. It'll stand. Look at this, very hard. And uh, you notice that she doesn't come with any obvious accessories because the accessories are here. They're molded right into her arm. Isn't that the greatest thing? Like, you, you don't have to worry about losing the weapons. She comes with this really small blaster pistol. And then if she's dealing with bigger threats, she just goes ahead and whips out the bigger gun. Wow. I mean, look at that. That, I think, is the best feature of this figure. Also, uh, she's got some weird articulation, but it, somehow it kind of works. The neck doesn't move, though. It just stays there. Uh, no torso articulation as well. Who needs torso articulation or neck articulation, right? All you need are these ball joints, these reverse ball joints on the shoulders that kind of make the arms move in and out a little bit forward and backward. But don't worry, even if these ball joints are hindered or hinder the arm from moving forward and backward, she's got this transformation joint right here. It's a swivel joint on her shoulder that allow you to move the hand and get it into this unique position like his sh her shoulder just went down her torso okay the hips are on ball joints and look at this she's got a knee joint uh they didn't have to do this because the transformation of the joint is really like this but they made it so that you could hinge the 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 legs back and give her a knee joint pain apps are on point i love this carnation on this mauve type of plastic uh, you got more pink on his on her face. She's got this uh, blue, all spark blue eyes. Let's have a look at that. You see there's a yellow, yellow paint on her forehead. She got some nice metallic silver here and here. Uh, the I love that the, the pink, the carnation pink uh, paint matches the plastic that they used here. Uh, the thighs are painted, the heel the part of the legs are painted. And it's really this nice mauve color that they've added, uh, that they've used uh, for the plastic. They really didn't need to paint it. I think they got it on point. Uh, if you look at the, the artwork, yeah, I think it's pretty close. It's pretty close to the animation art. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, obviously, it's got more details. Uh, the actual art or in the actual cartoon eh, could have could use a bit more paint but it's okay there are no other gimmicks other than that this uh the gun the, the small gun into the big gun and uh, i really like that that uh, they kept the figure simple very cool looking alita one now there is some backpack there's some back kibble but it's it's okay. Uh, I mean, you need some back kibble, right? I mean, you wouldn't be... I don't know. It would be as interesting, I think, if they didn't put this back kibble right here. I think, you know, one of the highlights of this figure is just having the back kibble right there and making the figure look pretty cool. And for comparisons, here we have the... If you remember my review of... Skywarp, uh, which is really just a cyberverse star stream that they repainted it as Skywarp for Earthspark. Like, I mean, really, this figure, who needs it, right? Okay, and then we have the Netflix 
uh, Elita One from uh, the show War for Cybertron Trilogy, Siege. And look at this. I mean, this has got to be the better Elita. I mean, who needs this right now? Now that we have this Elita One, I mean, this you, you, you easily forget about the Siege Alita one, because this one's just really rocking it. It's got the G1 colors, the sculpt is great. I mean, limited articulation, what more can you ask for? So transformation, the transformation of this figure is really a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you right now. So first you wanna rotate the shoulders like this. We're gonna go off script, this is not really how you begin it. So you fold the arms this way, and then you fold, kind of fold the gun outwards like this and just keep keep the arms like this okay same with this one you're just gonna have to keep it like that they're gonna form part of the doors okay now you want to open up this chest cavity right here and you're gonna just pop it out and fold it up like this to form to form the front part of the car or the the hood of the car now this back back piece is gonna fold down together with the head it's gonna fold in and tuck that head away so you can close that hood. Now, isn't that just cool? You know, just line up the shoulders to form the front part of the car or the, the, the vehicle. Okay, now the feet. You can go ahead and join the feet, but they're gonna come undone anyway once you transform. So fold the wheels down like this, and then fold the knees in the reverse direction and fold up those thighs so they can meet the roof and just tab in okay and then you just want to line up the arms this way like i said form part of the door and the doors are actually the wings they're going to fold this the wheels front wheels are going to form and fold and just form the sides of this car now this is, I think Hasbro did this on purpose. They made it so that you have to exert a little bit of effort just to, to push this down. It's not entirely measured squarely. It, it doesn't quite clear immediately. So, okay, that's that's the trick Hasbro's trying to do. And they're trying to force you to think what to do. So in this situation, like you're thinking, oh my gosh, it doesn't, it doesn't transform. But Hasbro wants you to exercise more brain cells and you just have to push it a little bit, a little bit, and then just tab these things in. Do the same on the other side. Come on, come on, come on. And I don't think it's going to break. I mean, this is like premium plastic. I don't think there's any chance of breaking. So you want to tuck that in. Come on. Oh. And ah, it's, it's taking a little bit more effort, but we can do it. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's my fault. I actually haven't folded the arms or the shoulders inward. And yep, yeah, that, that, that's completely my fault. It's not the design team's fault. Definitely my fault. Okay. So, right. There you go. See, it makes it easier to tab in. And so, oh, no, that was my fault. That was my fault. Really. Um, I was pulling too hard. You shouldn't be pulling too hard. Okay. So you got to fold like this. Tab those arms in, tab those arms in here. Wow, that was that was exhilarating. I mean, such a challenge to transform. And I, and I do appreciate the fact that Hasbro is really testing us, our limits. And, you know, this thing is ages six and up. So, you know, at starting six years old, you're, you're going to get some training using more brain cells just to figure out how things transform. Man, that's pretty cool. Very, very smart of Hasbro to do that. All right. And here is Alita One in her, I guess, armored SUV alt mode. And she rolls. Okay. I mean, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not as smooth as you would expect, but, but it does roll. I mean, we're lucky that it still rolls, right? So, wow. Look at that. And it's giving off that it's kind of the alt mode that Transformers Prime bulkhead transforms into. You can see this armored front part right here, more reinforced armor on the back. It kind of feels like she she's she's a fan of, of bulkheads and she tried to use this almost a similar alt mode design in design at least. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's only paint apps on the windshield and on the chest as we've seen earlier and on the fenders and that's it. The windows, 
I think they, 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 they did not paint the windows on purpose. It's so that she can remain completely incognito. I mean, so that, you know, when she's rolling around, people won't think that she's a car because there's no windows painted. Like, you know, so it's pretty cool. I think, I think that's a better choice, not to paint the windows or the doors or anything like that. Just keep it blank. I mean, yeah, it, I think it looks great. Just painted here in front and nothing else. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, for some size comparisons, here we have, let's bring out Hot Shots uh, from the Tra Transformers Legacy Evolution, the Armada Universe Hot Shot. I mean, wow, look at this. I, mean, I, I think this is a better figure because you can really grip it in your hand. I mean, it's a good size. This one is like too chunky. It's very difficult to, to bring him along. So between the two, I, I might have to go with this one. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Okay, let's bring in another female uh, Transformer, uh, female Autobot, also from the uh, cartoon universe. This is uh, from the uni uh, Cybertron universe, and we have Road Rocket. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, she fits nicely with Road Rocket. They could totally be strolling around. And if you wanted to see a comparison with Wavemate Skywarp, here they both are. They look great together. Look at that. And so some final thoughts on uh, this Earthspark Warrior Class Elita One. Man, this figure is just amazing. This is an absolute must-have. If you enjoy the show Earthspark, or even if you don't watch the show, if you love the character Elita One, or you're into Transformers in general, man, you have got to pick up this figure. This is by far the best, most amazing fantastic i think by far it beats all other elite one figures we've had in the past hasbro really really just nailed it with this figure i am just overwhelmed with amazement this is man they just outdid themselves the designers this is such a fantastic figure i cannot recommend it enough you guys are missing out, seriously missing out if you passed up on this figure. The figure is going to get my legendary 1 billion out of 10 rating. I mean, it deserves nothing less. What an amazing figure. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Earthspark warrior class elita one hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews and if it's your first time here please subscribe thanks for watching